My name is Kai Savolainen. I work as, as a research professor at the Finnish Institute of Occupational Health. I have a medical background and I work at the Institute uh, as the director of Nano Safety Research Center. At an EU level, uh, the Institute has been the coordinating organization of Nano Safety Cluster uh, from 2011 to 2016 or 17 and uh, I've been the coordinating person uh, during that time period. So we've been coordinating the collaboration of about um, 50 uh, EU projects worth 180 million euros during that time period. Now, of course, the main target of nano safety research is to make sure that uh, we are able to uh, safely handle engineer nanomaterials and uh, to be able to do that, we, we, we should be able to uh, assess reliably the hazards of these materials and also reliably assess the exposure of workers uh, to these materials. And here we still have many, many things to do, a long way to go. Uh, we, uh, we have already now means to do uh, uh, safety assessment and, and uh, regulate safety but it could and it should be much better. So um, I would see as one of the important targets to, uh, to start designing safety already on the desk when you plan for a new nanomater engineer nanomaterial. So start assuring safety uh, already at the design state. As I indicated, it would be important to um, uh, start considering safety when you design the new nanomaterial because they are designed, designed by engineers like our buildings by architects on, on the desk. And uh, one, it, it would be important that one would also be able to predict the possible transformations of nanomaterials during their different stages of their life, life, life cycle, so that those could be also considered in designing the new materials. And this would, uh, in fact, save a lot of money for the producers, uh, save a lot of work for the scientists and regulators, and I think also increase trust by uh, uh, by the consumers and also industrial uh, users of the nanomaterials. Mm -hmm.